got a gift. I got my first gift of... I shouldn't shake it at the same time that I talk. I got my first gift of the year. It's from my papa. And uh, well, I want to open it on camera. Why not? I'm very excited about it. And it has to do with uh, the gourmet, the good things in life. This is my favorite coffee on earth. And it will also cost you a pretty penny. And that's why it came from my papa and not from my own wallet. <laughs> these are beans from the Guji region of Ethiopia. Not only that, but these are from one of the best roasters in France. They won the 2019 best roaster in France for this coffee specifically. This is... <laughs> it's really good. I can't have any right now because as you can imagine, I have already caffeinated myself to the max before recording this video. However, if you enjoy coffee and you would like to try something new that will absolutely blow your smackin' socks off, Guji Coffee is so amazing. It tastes like blueberries. It's incredible. I haven't had any from any US roasters, but last Christmas I ordered some for my dad and I'll put the link to that roaster down below. And they're not a sponsor, obviously, but my father said it was spectacular coffee. It has now become his favorite as well. And if you are interested, you can get yourself some Guji beans, all right? We gotta get down to business because I am working on a big project. I'm working on somewhat of a thesis about indoor plant lighting for my channel, Betsy Begonia, and uh, I'm just dedicating like any measly amount of free time I have to that, and I really have to get it done preferably by this weekend. So we're just gonna have our tasty treat today. I'm gonna tell you what I think about it and then I gotta go work on bigger things. Today I went to this little temple of chocolate called Hill Bar. It's in the old part of Lille and I did try to take some footage because I know that you guys love to see the cute little streets of Lille. It's really quaint and charming, but it's really hard to take footage because first of all, it's just loaded with shops. This is like the shopping area of Lille, and right now is like the peak of shopping season. So if you stand still for longer than five seconds on the sidewalk, you are in a million people's way. It's, it's very, very crowded. These streets are really tiny. The sidewalks, you can't, like there's no two-way traffic on these sidewalks. Cars are going by all the time. It's, uh, it's absolute chaos. I really hate to be that tourist who is in everyone's way and it's one of my biggest pet peeves when I'm like trying to get somewhere and get stuff done and some dork is on the sidewalk like nur, nur, nur. having absolutely no awareness of the space around them drives me absolutely insane. I will never be that person. So I do my best. This place, I didn't even know about it. It wasn't on my radar. It wasn't in my original list, but I learned about it from Coralie. The other day I went to this little pop-up Christmas market with independent vendors and artists. I went just to meet uh, with this artist here in Lille called Coralie, and she said, hey, you should go to Hill Bar. And I said, what's Hill Bar? And then she told me what it is, and I said, I'm gonna go there, and then I did. I have a little article in front of me just so I can give you a little bit of information on Hill Bar, because I liked it. I really liked the atmosphere of this place. The cocoa beans are directly imported from Ecuador, Madagascar, and the Dominican Republic. It's apparently owned by an Italian person. They promote fair trade as much as possible, and the pastry know-how is in the hands of Romain Montagne, who was a former pastry chef at Miat, if you remember Miat. Pretty much the most amazing pastries I have seen so far, so I'm very excited to find out that the pastry chef comes from Miat. I really liked the atmosphere of this place. It's, just, it's small, it's charming, and it's chill. It doesn't feel like you're walking into luxury. It just feels like cozy, warm, and charming. It's just, it has a really good vibe to it. They didn't put any pressure on me. They didn't follow me around. They didn't stare at me or anything. They just asked me if, you know, what are you looking for today? I said, I would like to buy a pastry because I had seen the pastries in the window and I was like, wow, I did not know that they had pastries. I thought I was coming here for a chocolate bar. But once I saw the pastries, I had no choice. I had to get a pastry. And so I told her, oh, I'd like to have a pastry, but if you don't mind, I'm, I'm gonna look around a little bit. And I asked her if I could take a little video. She said yes, just really nice to me, friendly, seemed a little curious about what I was up to, but didn't ask any questions and they weren't rude to me for like, being weird. So as far as the atmosphere goes, I really liked it. I didn't feel like I was being rushed. Nobody was like bothering me to make a choice and hurry up or anything like that, which, I love. All right, I have to stop talking and I have to get this pastry down my gullet. I noticed that all of the pastries have Italian names, like one was called Torino, this one's called Stromboli, and I believe that the shop owner is Italian, 
but the pastries are done by the French guy that I mentioned earlier, if that makes sense. I'm just putting that, I'm just doing the math on that in my head right now. Because when I was there, I was like, why do they all have Italian names? And in that article, it said that the, the guy is Italian. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, my brain is on other things like houseplant lighting. <laughs> now, remember, I'm not a pastry chef. I'm not a professional. I'm not even a connoisseur. I'm just somebody who really likes to eat stuff and talk about it, apparently. So uh, I'm describing what I see with my peasant eyes. So if I describe this incorrectly in, in pastry making terms, forgive me, okay? I just want to make that really clear. What it looks like to me, however, is a, like an eclair made of chocolate pastry with a, a very, 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 like, rich, amazing looking chocolate, chocolate filling. A chocolate buttercream or something on top, some chocolate flakes. It's, there's this really special aspect to it that the, the pastry has like this goldish glitter on it. It like shines, it glimmers, it's so pretty. And then it has just a little touch of gold flaking on top. I mean, you want to talk about a pastry that looks absolutely decadent. I just couldn't resist this one, especially because it's a chocolate shop. So I decided to choose the pastry with the most chocolate. They did have a chocolate flan, and you better believe it when I say that I really wanted that chocolate flan. I love flan, man. But I passed it up, and I went for the prettier, piece of the pie. But I'm going back for that flan, okay? I'm very excited about this. I gotta go. I, 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 I need to eat this in private. I'm so sorry. That is exquisite. That is very luscious. That is delicious. That's amazing. It's just right up there with that tart from Mjant. That is good. Let me t taste this piece by piece. The top is just this really rich chocolate frosting, but it's not too sweet. It has like that dark chocolate flavor. It's not like milk chocolate. It's very, very rich. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> the pastry is just a perfect mix of being lightly crispy on the outside and moist and tender on the inside. And this filling, you have to be kidding me with this filling. Yes, it's like dark chocolate cheesecake. This is indeed a lot. I mean, it is overwhelmingly chocolate, but it's so good. It's so well done. It's just absolutely fantastic. This is something that you enjoy on a birthday. Like this is a special occasion pastry. This is not like I had lunch and now I would like something sweet. No, you're not going to Hill Bar and getting this pastry for the little something something after your lunch to, you know, fix your sweet tooth craving. No, this is like, something is happening. This is a celebration. Hence the gold leaf. That's all I have to say about that. I gotta stop yammering on about this freaking pastry. And actually, I would like to turn the camera off so that I can sit down and really enjoy it. But first we have to, you know, I gotta, I gotta do the, take, you know, atmosphere and the, you know, you know what comes next. All right, folks. Hill bar chocolate. How do I feel about the atmosphere? Well, I already told you a little bit about that. It's a super yummy on atmosphere. Those things just do not stick. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Super yummy atmosphere, cozy, friendly, welcoming. It was like a warm chocolate hug. Those things do not stay up. I am sorry about that. You'll just have to keep it in your memory and I'll tape it up later. How do I feel about the selection? Another super yummy! I went there expecting to get a chocolate bar and I just got so much more! I arrived and there was this beautiful pastry display in the window. I stood there staring at it for a good three minutes because I was just like, they're all so beautiful. And then I remembered that I can go inside and I can get one. 
not only did they have beautiful pastries, but they had a really nice selection of beautiful pastries with all sorts of different flavors. And then they had chocolate bars, and then they also had, uh, you know, some spreads and stuff like that. So the selection was super yummy. It really exceeded my expectations. And as for the tastiness, well, I think you can guess where we're going here. Super yummy. Where did the other one go? Let me get some tape. Don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Okay. Super yummy all across the board, folks. I think this is the first time. Uh, yes, because this is a yummy. This is a yummy. This is our first triple super yummy. Hill Bar chocolate is absolutely 100% worth your time and money. The end. Just kidding. But this is the end now. Uh, I, I gotta go. I, I gotta edit this and then I got, I have like a, I got other stuff to work on. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. It, um, little teaser, we're having chocolate tomorrow too.